So what's up ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about uh, a very interesting concept of how nakshatra lords affect idhasha and parivartan yoga between uh, two planets uh, that are in each other's nakshatra. Um, I've been dealing with this concept for a week and then last night I tried to do an experiment on my Facebook page where I posted uh, this uh, message of, you know, hey, if you have a parivartan yoga between two nakshatras, send me an email and I want to look at it, I want to study it, okay, and so I was overwhelmed, so I, within 20-30 minutes, I just removed that post because I was getting a lot, lot, and I'm still going to be messaging people, and I messaged like about 40 people right now, and out of that, first, I had an 80% response from 20 people who, the, the thing didn't work, okay, and then I sent more replies to people explaining how they're Nakshatra Parivartan is working. I got some results, some positive results. So it was kind of like 60 40 or 70 30, you can say. But then I'm like, well, let me actually go to the source to talk about this concept of uh, Parivartan Yoga between Nakshatras. And I called my guru, Mr. Juan Paul Manley, you know, and I spoke to him regarding this and um, very beautiful explanation he gave. Um, King and Rao actually did talk about this with him. And this Parivartan Yoga does apply, however, in certain conditions. First of all, this Parivartan is called uh, Sukshma Parivartan. Sukshma Parivartan Yoga happens when two planets are in each other's nakshatra. However, that's not the only thing. This concept of Sukshma Parivartan applies only when the Mahadasha Lord and Antradasha Lord are activated. So I'll give you an example. Uh, let's say Jupiter. You're going through Jupiter uh, Mahadasha. And your Jupiter is in Ketu's nakshatra, okay? And then Ketu is sitting in Jupiter's nakshatra. And so when Jupiter Mahadasha started and Ketu Antradasha came in there, then these two nakshatra lords activated what's known as Sukshma Parivartan Yoga, okay? So Jupiter being in, first of all, when Jupiter's Mahadasha activated, while you looked at the sign where Jupiter was placed and you're like, okay, well, Jupiter is going to be giving results according to this sign and where the sign Lord is placed. But you also have to notice the nakshatra that Jupiter was sitting in. So if Jupiter is sitting in Ketu's nakshatra during Jupiter's Mahadasha, Jupiter will be inclined more towards the condition of Ketu, will be inclined towards the significance of Ketu, which is what? Moksh, isolation letting go of material things, gaining knowledge of the occult, because Ketu is also the karka of the occult knowledge. And Jupiter is already divine knowledge. Jupiter is already higher spiritual knowledge. So in Mahadasha of Jupiter, this person would be more inclined towards the occult. This person would be more inclined towards finding peace and isolation. But when Ketu's Antradasha would come, and Ketu is already sitting in Jupiter's nakshatra, while well, we already know that Jupiter is in Ketu Nakshatra, what this is doing is intensifying, intensifying each other's quality. So let's say if this person was interested in the occult all throughout, but as soon as Ketu Dasha, Ketu Antra Dasha came in, Ketu sub period came in, in Jupiter's main period, this person would be like, okay, I need to learn it now. Let me go to the school of, of the occult. Let me go and get uh, occult knowledge of tarot or astrology or black magic from some guru. So what, what it will do, it will make an action-oriented significance towards those things. So this is how a Parivartan Yoga between two nakshatra works. Does it work all throughout life? No. Only when they get activated in their Mahadasha and Antradasha is when uh, this uh, Sukshma Parivartan happens. But another thing, like I said, I wanted to discuss is that in your Mahadasha, check what nakshatra your Mahadasha Lord is sitting in and look at the placement of that uh, planet, what house it's in and what it signifies. And you will see how even though you are experiencing the things related to your Mahadasha planet and the houses it controls, but also the nakshatra where it's sitting in, you will also be ma mainly you will be interested in those things as well. So this is what I wanted to quickly discuss. It's been on my mind and last night it was just on my mind, on my mind. I even was out last night on Friday with my girlfriend and then I was just in my mind. 
was going through this, why is this working, what is this, and then and I went back into my Bharat Parashtra, Hora Shastra, looked through it, couldn't find anything on it, so, you know, had to call the master of Vedic Astrology, Mr. Juan Paul Manley, whose interview you will see on my playlist, and we may discuss uh, uh, this with him when he comes on my channel on March 6th to discuss with you another horoscope. But just wanted to quickly do this because I wanted to do the uh, horoscope of Sachin Tendulkar today, which I still might, but I wanted to just get this out. And after I spoke with him, I suddenly just understood, you know, this concept of uh, Parivartan Yoga between Nakshatra. All right. So, see you soon. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe below. And if you want to know if you have Parivartan Yoga between two planets on Nakshatra, check out the link below. Check out my book there, Astrology at the Speed of Light. And when you get the book, I will send you the link to look at your own chart. Just make sure you follow the directions below. Otherwise, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. What? You actually made it this far into the video? All the way to the end? Man, you must be crazy! Well, since you're already crazy enough to go this far, then might as well join the insanity by clicking that little button above where it says subscribe here. Or you can subscribe below by that little button that you see below the video. And like I told you, if you want to know where your planets are placed, where your conjunctions are, what aspects you're receiving, what planetary time period you're running through, check out this corner link below. Okay, read the directions there because when you get the book, my Astrology at the Speed of Light book, and you follow the directions by sending me the email, I send you the link to look at your own chart so you can study everything about you. And if you want to re read some more articles on astrology and you know every little details that I've written on my website, check out this corner link below. And this will take you to my website and to my article page where I've written tons of stuff, okay? Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow with some more insane video. Bye-bye.